So we're about nine hours in. Uh, Dr. Torres has finished attaching the donor arm bones to the recipient with titanium plates and screws, and now they are beginning to attach the tendons. This is a new graph for this one. Mm -hmm. I need more irrigation here, please. Arms would be good. Oh, yeah. Where have you been? Hold on, hold on. Has getting shot changed me? Um, I don't think I love my job anymore any less. Um, I don't think I'm a better doctor or worse. Uh, if anything, it's made me grateful um, to be here. So yeah, getting shot has changed me in the sense that I feel lucky. We've reconnected the arteries and veins, but we need to check the circulation before we continue. What we're going to do now is release the tourniquets one arm at a time and then look to see if blood flows into the vessels. Okay, moment of truth. Releasing the tourniquet. Arms pinking up. <laughs> Moving on to the second one. So what's the big deal? You'll visit her, she'll visit you. It's just a plane ride. Right? Um, can we not talk about this right now? Arms getting cyanotic. Uh, the vessel attachments are all good. We throw a clock. If we can't restore the blood flow, we're going to lose the arm. Uh, picture. We've got picture, no sound. Excuse me? Move over. Just move over. Torres, do you need help? I can retract that for you. Want me to patch that? Are you sure you don't want me to jump, Torres? Do you want me to patch it? Just give me a second. It? Okay, sure. I know what I'm doing. I just need a second. Everybody shut up. Okay, all right. There, picture and sound, I think. Funny. She hooked up my TV. I'm still only getting sound out of one speaker. 